Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. Today's video is going to be a gift giving guide. The holiday season is upon us, my friends, and I thought, why not? Let's discuss some things that either I've received as gifts, things I've given as gifts, or just things that I generally enjoy that I think would make good gifts for other people. So that's what this video is. There's like some jewelry, there's some candles, but not any kind of candle, like specifically carved candles, which I think are fun to talk about. We've got a planner, we've got an e-reader, we've got face and hair and like <laughs> coffee stuff. And so it's kind of all over the place. And my hope with this is that I'm talking about a whole bunch of shit and then, you know, hopefully you'll be able to find something on this list. Varying prices, varying uses, and I just hope that this is helpful in any way. So, you know, we're gonna jump right into it. But first I do wanna say, I'm not gonna recommend specific books in this video. Instead, I'm gonna save that for a book recommendations video if you're all interested in that. If you're not, that's fine. But if you're interested in a specific book recommendations video, especially before the actual like holiday season starts and you're looking to buy someone a book, um, please leave your prompts or questions below who you're shopping for. And then I'll go through the comments and pick out some really good ones and then do a recommendations video based off that. So for example, if you're like, hey, I want to get my mom a romance without any steam in it, You'll be hard pressed to find one on my shelf, but I will try my best to give a recommendation based off that prompt. So if you're interested, leave a prompt or a question below for book recommendations, and then I'll do that. But uh, I do have some bookish things on this list. It's just not specific books. So we're gonna just jump in, all right? Grab a cup of coffee, grab some tea, grab a water, whatever it is, because I have a feeling this is gonna be a long one because I'm impassioned by a lot of things. So <laughs> a lot of these things on this list. So we're gonna start this gift guide suggestion video. I wish I had a more clever name for it, but we're gonna start this gift guide off with some jewelry. Why not, right? Of course, it sparkles, it dazzles, and it's affordable. At least the jewelry I'm gonna talk about in this video. <laughs> um, so the jewelry I'd like to shout out is Ana Luisa. As you all know, or as many of you know, I have a necklace with Ana Luisa, which if you're looking, it's the second one in this stack. <laughs> I came out with a hand necklace back in February um, for my love of hands in movies, books, and art. Um, and then there's a little tiny gem right on the fingertip, which is supposed to signify like that first touch in a romance, catch my drift. Uh, so I have a necklace with Ana Luisa. The third, like the lowest necklace I'm wearing is by Hannah. She cre co-created a uh, necklace. Um, she's on booktube as well. And I love her and I love this necklace so much. So she has a necklace with Ana Luisa. And then the, the like closest one to my throat <laughs> is a new engravable. They have a new engravable collection, which is awesome. You can choose a word or just a letter. They have a few style of necklaces and then a few bracelets that you can get engraved and they're awesome. So you can pick up one of those. I have the nameplate on with the word lovely engraved into it. It's a therapy thing. <laughs> it's something we're working through through therapy. <laughs> So I got it as kind of, I don't know, a, uh, a little memento for the mental health. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so those are some necklaces I have. Ana Luisa also has this really cool, like these cool gift sets out right now where they come with a necklace and a set of matching earrings. I picked out the heart collection. So it has a heart necklace and then some heart studs. I hope you're able to see that. If you're not, then I'm gonna insert a clip now. Um, I really wanted to wear this heart necklace in this video, but I thought it was just too pretty in this box. So um, anyway, they have like these cool little gift sets if you wanna get someone just a little like jewelry look. They have these cool gift sets. And then now they have these really cool jewelry cases, which are awesome for travel because listen up. And do not crucify me for this, but uh, whenever I travel and I bring jewelry with me, I just put in a Ziploc bag. 
I literally put it in a Ziploc bag or I put it in a pocket in a bag, like in a purse, one of those like mini pockets. And I have tangled a many a necklaces that way. So it looks like this. There's nothing in it right now because I'm not traveling anytime soon, uh, but it's really cool. It has a mirror on it and then it has all these little compartments and then around the mirror you can put little studs and then there's like a second compartment for more things like dangle earrings and it's just awesome. It's not too big, right? It's not like it's gonna take so much room up in your luggage but it's really cute and I really like it. So Ana Luisa actually has a lot of deals going on. And so instead of listing them all here, I'm just gonna put some sale type details down in the description if you're interested. But that was the first portion of jewelry. The second, and this isn't a piece of jewelry, but it will help with your jewelry if you would like to have your jewelry sparkle for many a time to come. Uh, there's this really cool thing that my mom got me last year, I think, in my stocking, and it's this blue pen, and it's called the Diamond Dazzle Stick. So I'll try to find this and then link it in the description, but basically it's kind of like a lip gloss where there's like a brush on the top and then you just, Okay, well now I'm wasting product, but you basically twist up the bottom and then some cleaner cleaning solution comes out and then you clean your jewelry with it. And so I've been doing it with my rings and um, there's a lot of product in it. I feel like it's been lasting me a really long time. The Diamond Dazzle Stick. So this is awesome if you'd like to keep your jewelry sparkling and shining. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna talk bookish things. I have a couple things on this list that have to do with books, but not specific books. Again, leave your prompts down below and then I'll do a book recommendations video. So the first thing I have to recommend is inexpensive, but wonderful, especially for anyone who's a student, like if you're buying anything for a fellow student in your life, or if you know someone likes to annotate their books, you've got to grab them some post-it tabs. Now, that might seem a little weird, right? You're like, wait a second, that's office supplies. Why would I do that? That's like a really strange and random gift. No, it's a useful gift and it's inexpensive. Like a whole gift in itself, if you wanted to be fun, could just be buying 10 of these and putting them in a bag. And then the person who you're gifting it to won't even know it's what they wanted. You know what I mean? Because I know for myself, I always forget these, right? I always run out of them, but then when I'm at the store, I completely forget to pick them up every single time. And it's always so annoying. And so if someone just got me like 10 of these for Christmas, I'd be like a useful gift. I'm actually gonna do something with this and inexpensive and fun. So that's the third thing and fun. So I'm just saying, you may have not thought of this one, but it's really, really great. And I love a useful gift. All right, the next bookish item on this list is an e-reader. Now I have a Kindle Paperwhite and I really like it. Here's the deal. When I bought my e-reader, I had read a couple e-books and I was like, I'll just buy an e-reader. I don't know, I, I'll see if I actually use this. I use this every single day. It's like my primary source of reading now. Unless I already have the physical book, these days I just try to find every book I read on Libby first as an ebook, just get it transferred over to my Kindle Paperwhite, and then I just read it on here. So I've been saving a shit ton of money on books um, because a lot of them are just library book checkouts from Libby. And then I just get on here and I read it and you get the book in like 30 seconds when you use Libby. And it's a great way to save money on reading, but it's also just so easy. It's so easy to throw in a bag. It's so light, fits in the palm of your hand. I really like this case because it can sit like this. And then when I'm laying in bed, it just sits there and I don't need to hold it. But if, if I did want to hold it, it's one hand. You know what I'm saying? It's one hand. And it's just really, it's really easy to use. And I feel like it's really helped me save money on books. And it's interesting because it's like a $90 purchase, but then I've gotten so many books just delivered to it through Libby. Um, and so I've saved a lot of money and I think it's awesome. 
All right, next up, we're gonna talk about candles, but not just any candles, all right? These are like decorative candles. I've never burned these candles before, but they sit on my bookshelves and I just feel like they elevate my bookshelves and like the overall look of them without being super expensive. And that is kind of sculpted sculpture candles, okay? I love these. They're so classy, they smell good, and they just look so good on a shelf. I have these on my classics shelf and I just feel like such a little literature student, which frankly I am, right? So I don't know, I think it just elevates the space. Uh, this first one is from this company called Roera. So it's just David and he looks amazing and he looks like marble, but he's really a candle, so. It's inexpensive, but it looks really classy, you know? And then these other two I just got off Etsy. I just looked up like sculpture candle. And so I got this one, which is like the girl with the veil on, very cool. And then I think this is Venus. This is Venus, right? Um, the one, like the sculpture without the arms. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's, I think each one of these was under $20. This one actually might have been more expensive because it's heavier and bigger, but at least for these two, less than $20, you can get them on Etsy. And I feel like it's not someone, it's not something someone is gonna ask for for Christmas. And so it's kind of a unique gift. And then once you give them to him, it's like a really pretty thing that they can either light because it looks really cool when they're lit and then they start like drooping, right? They start like dripping wax. It looks really cool. Um, or they just have like little sculptures for their shelves or for their house. So yeah, I think they're awesome. So Etsy or Roera, I will link them down below. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about hair because hair health is a big thing to me, but it's also a big thing to my family and my friends. I feel like, I don't know what happened in the last year, but um, some of my closest loved ones have really started to ramp up their hair care routines, so, so have I. Um, I am here to recommend three things. The first one is if you're feeling like you want your hair to grow a little faster, or if you're looking for more volume in your hair, um, there's this really cool product I've started using by Kevin Murphy called Body Mass. It comes in this pink bottle. They also have like a men's version, which comes in a black bottle and it just smells a little more oaky. <laughs> I think it's weird, but you know, they have a woman's version and a men's version. And this one smells like pomegranate, I think. Um, but it comes in this little bottle. You take this little thing off and then you spray it like on your actual scalp. And it's supposed to promote hair growth, not only in length, just like faster growing hair, but also in volume. So it's supposed to actually like help with regrowth of hair. Um, I don't know about the regrowth of hair, but I know that my hair has been growing fast since I cut it. I cut it like two months ago and it's already like an inch longer. So um, I think it's great. And I actually think I prefer the men's version of it. The like scent of that one is really nice. But um, if you were looking for something to help with volume and growth, this is awesome. And then of course we have to talk about Olaplex, which I think is like the hair product that has taken over the world in the last two years, but especially the last year. I don't know what happened, but it was like there was this big boom with Olaplex. So I have, I think every single product by Olaplex <laughs> except for one and two because I think only stylists can get those. Um, but the two that I'm gonna recommend are Olaplex number three, which is something you do before you shampoo or condition. It's kind of like a leave-in mask, not leave-in, but it's like a at-home hair mask that you put on your hair before you shampoo and condition it. It's supposed to like really bond your hair and strengthen your hair and help with the healing of damaged hair. Um, so number three is awesome. And then I use the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner after I use number three. And then the second Olaplex product is a new product by them, I believe, and it is Olaplex number eight. This is a product that you use as deep conditioner. So after you shampoo 
and you could probably still condition, but at that point I feel like you might be wasting product. Um, but after you shampoo, you put this on and it's a conditioner that you put on for 10 minutes. Really focus on the mid to ends and it's supposed to be really good for moisturizing dry hair. I really love Olaplex because um, I've really damaged my hair many, 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 many times in my life. And I feel like Olaplex is the product that I've really been able to rely on for the last couple of years. So really love this stuff and highly recommend. If you know someone who like is trying to grow out their hair or is trying to come back from like a botched bleach job on their ends or something, I think these two products will really, really help them out. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about a coffee frother. Um, I used to use this frother that was basically just a stick that you turned on and then you put it in your mug. I'm sure many of you remember this. You put it in your mug with just your creamer and you froth the milk before you pour the coffee in. Uh, now I'm using the Nespresso frother that looks like this. If it has water stains on it, it's because I use it every day. So if it looks dirty, it's actually because I don't dry it before I put it on the drying rack. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, it's just this like frother. You take the cap off, you fill it with creamer or milk, and then you put it on and you press this button and you can either froth your milk hot or cold. If you're gonna have an iced coffee, you can get cold frothed milk. Um, so yeah, I use oat milk and a little bit of creamer and it froths it right up, and I usually have it going once my coffee's brewing, so they kind of end at the same time. Um, but people have asked, can you buy these separately from other Nespresso products? Yes, you can buy just the frother, and um, I think it is an incredible investment in your coffee delight of the morning. Okay, I'm not sure that made sense, but I just think it really helps your coffee in the morning and it feels like a way to treat yourself without getting a $1,000 barista bar installed into your home. Okay, great. <laughs> what did I just talk about? Oh, my milk frother. Okay, well, I'm kind of going out of order now because I'm gonna go back to kind of self-care products, right? We talked about hair. Now we're gonna talk about skin. Uh, the first product, I've talked about this before on my channel and I'm sure everyone already knows about it, but it is the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. Laneige? That's right, right? Um, anyway, it comes in this little tub and mine has lasted me a long ass time because a little goes a long way and I put this on every night and I even use it sometimes during the day, especially now that we're getting into the really cold months. My lips are really, really chapped all day, and so sometimes I use this, but I put it on every single night. I wake up with hydrated lips, tastes amazing. It comes in a bunch of different flavors. Um, I really wanna try the lemon one. That's the one I want next, I think, or the gummy bear one. I don't know, I just know that it's great, and especially during the winter colder months, um, I think getting this for anyone will be a super useful gift. And then a new product that I've just found that I believe I put on my Christmas list this year. I think I did, I think I did. I just bought this, so I don't know if I actually put it on there, but um, it is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen in SPF 40. This is the best face sunscreen I've ever used, ever, and Usually with face sunscreen specifically, it makes my face look so oily throughout the rest of the day. And not like a beautiful glow. A lot of the time I just look like I'm slightly sweaty all day. Um, and this stuff is actually like, it almost mattifies your skin. I hear it's a great makeup primer, um, but I just, I love it. It's water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. Um, and I just think it's awesome. I really, really love this stuff. I stole some from my sister-in-law because I didn't pack face sunscreen when I went to see her. So I put on a little bit and I, I could not stop touching my face because it was so smooth. So I really, really like this stuff. And if you know someone who really cares about their skin routine or you know someone who just like is really into face sunscreens, I feel like most people know about this brand, but I was really late to the party. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd mention it now. All right, next, we have the thing in my hand that I've been reading off of. I made this list a little while ago. 
when I wrote it in here. Anyway, um, it is a moleskin planner. And what's awesome about a moleskin planner is that um, I think it's a great gift to give someone in December because usually like new year, new me resolutions come around and a big resolution for people is to get more organized and to like really focus up and like write things down and document things. Um, and so I have absolutely been loving my moleskin planner. I've had it for a year now and I use it almost every single day. I, you know, I've talked about this in vlogs of mine, but basically what I do is on the, on this side of the page, we have like the days of the week and I put like high level things I need to remember, like homework assignments and work related things and all this kind of stuff. And then on the left side of the page, is that the left? No, that's the right. On the right side of the page, I'll do my like daily to-do lists and just like writing notes. So like, for example, in this, I wrote a Christmas list or like a gift got buying list. So yeah, I think it's super, super useful. And it's something that I think people buy themselves because it's like on January 1st, they're like, oh, I want to buy a planner because I want to be more organized. And so I feel like this is a gift that's really thoughtful and you'll give it to someone, you know, in the holiday season and they'll be like, oh my God, I didn't even realize I wanted this. And then on January 1st, they're going to go, damn, I should use my new planner. So I asked for one. I asked one for one in the ice green variety. It's like this cool minty green. Um, and anyway, so I think it's awesome. It's super, super useful. And I love it because I can also look back on my year. It's almost like a journal. I put some quotes in here. I write reminders in here. I write ideas in here. I write encouragement in here, um, stickers, all these kinds of things. And I just think it's awesome. So highly recommend this as a gift. All right, the next thing on my list is something I can't hold up because it's plugged in right behind me, but it is a sound machine or a sound maker. That is a gift you yourself will probably never put on a list because you just don't think about it, right? You're not like, oh my God, I slept like shit last night. I should ask for a sound maker, right? Like you don't think about it. But when you get it, which I didn't ask for mine, I just got it for my birthday one year. I have used it every night since. I've actually packed it on trips because I know I'll sleep better with it. That's how good it is. It's just such a good gift. And again, it's something that people aren't going to ask for. They're not going to expect it. But if you know someone needs white noise, like if you know someone needs to have a fan going when they fall asleep at night, a sound maker is perfect, especially as we get into the colder months because having a fan on when it's super cold just makes it even colder. And so just find them a sound machine. I'll try to find a few and link them in the description. I don't know where mine is from, but it's just, it's a gift you don't even know you need. And then you get it and you use it all the time. And you're just like, how did I live without this before? So anyway, highly recommend a sound machine. It's one of the most useful gifts I've ever gotten. And I love it so much. All right, the last two gifts on this gift guide are two bags. We've got a more formal purse, and then we've got a fanny pack. And that is this fanny pack, uh, the Lululemon fanny pack. I have been using this for the last couple months, and I love it. I wear it to the gym, but I also just wear it around. Sometimes when you're just running to the store, you just make it, you know, put it on like the loosest or the biggest loop it'll go. And then, hold on, let's do this thing. Okay, hi. My God, Noel. You just make it as loose as it'll go and then you just wear it around. And it proves to be this super cool, chic, kind of fun fanny pack without it being a pattern, like it's just super plain. But um, the Lululemon one has enough room for the bigger iPhones and then car keys and wallet. I have a really small wallet, um, but even if you had a bigger wallet, it would probably fit in here, right? It's a pretty big fanny pack, um, but it has like a back zipper and then it has like a pouch inside. So I really like mine. It does not need to be the Lululemon fanny pack though. You can just get someone a plain black fanny pack because it proves to be really, really useful in a way that I don't think people expect. 
I know that we're not really making fun of fanny packs anymore, but there was a time where it was kind of dorky, and now I think we've all accepted the ease of use. So pick someone up one, and I think it'll be a very useful gift. The second gift, uh, this is the more formal or nice purse if you're looking to get something for like your mom or your sister or something, and you're like, I don't know what to get. I just kind of want to get them like a nicer bag that's like not super stylish. Like it's just kind of plain, but it's good quality. I highly recommend the Madewell crossbody bag. My sister-in-law has been wearing this for like two years, I think. She's had one for a really long time. And so I got one. And then after I was wearing mine for a long time, my mom got one. So <laughs> now if the three of us are ever together, we all have the same bag. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's really, really big. It has this really long strap and it holds so much. I always cross body it, but you can just keep it on one shoulder. It's also adjustable, so you can make it a little shorter if you want, and it's just super, super good quality, and it's huge on the inside. There is, I'm not even gonna show you, because <laughs> there's so much junk. We've got a face mask, I guess I am showing you. We've got hand lotion. We've got a hair clip. Huh? You got a little what's in my bag and you didn't even ask for it. We've got Aquaphor lip balm, which is another thing I highly recommend. If you were gonna get someone something for their stocking or something, this shit is the best. Uh, we've got my favorite gum, Perfect Peppermint by Trident. The best, love it so much. We've got hand sanitizer, awesome. We've got a receipt, which we love. <laughs> and we've got a key card to my office building, so. And we've got, you guessed it, the wrapping of a Starburst that I ate during Halloween. So this has been in here a while and it's going right back in. Anyway, it's good quality. I think this bag is like 125 or 150. So it's, you know, it's a little pricier, but it's also like not a Gucci bag or a Chanel bag, you know? It's good quality. It's made well literally, uh, but it's also, um, it's just, you know, it's like a little step up, right? If you're like, I wanted to get my mom something nice, I'm gonna get her this bag, you know what I mean? So anyway, that is what I have, my friends. I'm looking at my list, and you know what? I had some mugs I was going to recommend <laughs> or just show. Um, if you would like to see a mug collection, let me know and I'll put it in an upcoming reading vlog. But uh, you can also really never go wrong with a good mug because there's so many out there and they're really thoughtful if you find something funny or specific to someone. Anyway, that's the list, my friends. I'm gonna try to leave as many links to these products down in the description bar and any of the deals that I can find, I'll try to leave like codes or links or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I hope that this was helpful. If you'd like a book recommendations video, please leave your prompts or questions or who you're shopping for down in the comments and I will try to get that up for you as soon as possible. So thanks so much for being here. I hope you had fun and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.